Today, I will be introducing the Conservative Opposition Day motion. We are proposing to establish a committee to look into the various ethical problems the government has in the handing out of COVID-19 contracts to close friends and family members. It is a committee that will examine the misuse of taxpayer dollars during the worst crisis most Canadians have experienced in their lifetime. Canadians were worried about their future during the pandemic. The Liberals were worried about their friends. The Liberal government's COVID-19 response has been plagued with ethical lapses. And these are the ones we know about. The Prime Minister's decision to prorogue Parliament to avoid the growing number of unanswered questions has proven that this committee is needed now more than ever for parliamentary accountability to ensure the work needed to get the answers Canadians deserve does not interfere with regular important work of the House and their network of committees. This motion will be amended today as well to make clear that the appointment of a special committee on allegations of misuse of public funds by the government during the COVID-19 pandemic in Canada shall not constitute legitimate grounds for calling a general election. People back home in our communities need the government and this parliament to stay focused on providing the support that they need. Today, we're seeing that Erin O'Toole and the Conservative Party, they don't care about that. They don't care at all. They have turned their backs on Canadians. They don't care about working together to find solutions to the many challenges in this crisis. They only care about political games. Their motion, and let me be clear, their motion has nothing to do with asking serious questions about government policy in the middle of the pandemic. It's just pure self-serving political game, and we have it made, we've made it clear that we oppose it. 